using some rather beautiful watercolours, which are colours that I haven't actually used before. And the reason that I really like to use watercolour is because I love paper. And it's paper and the action and the act of moving paint, water across a sheet of paper is actually really lovely. It's a very delicious thing to do. I don't know that I work with watercolour in a particularly traditional way because I actually, what I like is saturation and the saturation of colour across a beautiful sheet of paper. I'm actually using a particularly lovely paper, Saunders Waterford from St Cuthbert's Mill. It's 300 gram weight, which means that's quite a, a thick paper, but it's not so thick that it's not workable and usable. And one of the things that I really like to do with papers is I like, I like to change the surface. And because this paper is made from 300 gram, 300 percent, sorry, 100 percent cotton rag, it's very versatile. And it can be sanded, and it can be peeled, and then it can be watercolored over the top. Like one of the sheets, one of the things I've done with this is I've washed it in a bath of water, and I've laid some watercolor over the top, and that gives me a rather beautiful surface and a texture which I can then start to cut up and build up. I like working with collage. And one of the reasons I also particularly like working with watercolour is that I like the Victorian botanists who used to go out in the landscape and paint with their watercolours. They used to go out up mountains and paint very beautifully. It was very much sort of women's pursuits and that's actually something that I'm quite interested in. I particularly like these colours because some are much more translucent than others and others within this you can actually get a really beautiful solid which is rather nice. You can splatter it, you can spray it. The good thing about this paper is that because it is such top-notch quality it's very, very versatile and it will take all sorts of scrubbing, textures being built up, washes being placed over the cross, the top of it, and also just some very careful drawing. And it's the combination of all of these things that makes me very interested with working with paper. So this is going to take ages to dry, but I have got some that I've done earlier. And with that, you can actually see that you get this incredible fine line. It's, I, I suppose my approach to watercolour is, to, is much more the have a go, is much more to make it user friendly for anyone that hasn't actually done any watercolours. And I think not to be frightened of the process or of how you're working with it, because you can actually do anything you like. It really doesn't matter. So. If it doesn't work, you can actually sand it off. I've got this. If I say take an area here, I don't like it. I can get rid of it. But a lot of that is to do with the quality of the surface of the paper, the weight of the paper. And I, I actually like papers, I prefer the papers that are 100% cotton rag. You can stitch into them, you can stab them, you can cut them. And actually, as I am a printmaker, I'm trying to find something here, but as I am a printmaker, I like working with printmaking tools. So I can pin prick out marks with a dry point tool, which is a tool that you use on a metal plate. And I can treat the surface of this paper in the same way as I can a piece of metal. So you can see the beauty of some of these colours. And even something as simple and straightforward as that 
if it was cut within a viewfinder and you place it in between, you could actually, and then you placed it next to something such as that. It will work. It'll look really nice. And you can build up, that's actually the hard bit, is actually putting these pieces and these little bits back together. So I would say have a go.